All right, folks, the first thing we have to look at here is how this guy looks like he just did a rail of cocaine and he is ready to her. All right, now check out this story of a sperm whale beached in Florida. Now down to a developing story in Florida on Venice. Uh, there, as uh, on the Gulf sides, we continue to follow the latest in a beached sperm whale, 70 feet long. We are getting aerials from our teams down there. You can see it here on live now from Fox. It is there, potentially uh, on 70 feet long off the coast of Venice. The alive adult sperm whale confirmed to beach around 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. This, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife. Conservation Commission. The city says the whale is on a sandbar about 50 yards. Oh, he's just getting a drink. Club Park. Certainly a very sad scene there as we're continuing to follow it. We also have a tweet from Sarah Sodi, the sheriff down there, assisting Venice Police Moat Marine Laboratory with a beach whale just off the coast of Venice. This happened around 7 a.m. and of course a couple hours later they were. Uh, hearing information that it is still alive there. I do have some more video as well. It's certainly a very sad scene. You can see uh, the fin of this whale off of a sandbar some 50 yards out from this beach. As they say, a multi-agency team of stranding network partners, including the Moat Marine Laboratory, Florida Fish and Wildlife, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, the University of Florida, Sarasota Dolphin Project, responding in collaboration there with the city and the sheriff's department. a lot department. of people. Officials. They asked people to avoid the area to allow moat staff to conduct their assessments. They're also talking about the rarity of this to happen uh, as, of course, off the coast there in Florida, off the Panhandle on the Gulf side, you can see different uh, boats on, uh, on the water as well, kind of assisting with this. For more on this, let's take you out to some sounds. Doesn't look like they're doing anything. From a, a person within the Moat Marine Laboratory as they were giving an update on this. A uh, very sad story out of Venice, Florida. Uh, when did we find out that the whale was here? Uh, we got a call early this morning, uh, right around 8.30, that this animal was about 150 yards off the beach uh, on a sandbar. Um, unfortunately, it is still alive. Um, right now, it's unfortunately, it's sandbar, alive. Um, and we're standing here in the between between the whale and us is a very deep trough. So with, that's why we're waiting to just until conditions become safe for us to work. Um, we know from the size and that it's prob likely an adult sperm whale, um, and it appears very thin, but that's all we can really tell at the moment. How often is it that something like this happens? It's, it's very rare for us to have, um, I've been at Moat for almost 15 years and we've never had a sperm whale here. So um, they do occur off the Gulf, but for them to be at the beach is not common. Um, is it possible to save? Unfortunately, no. Um, not only, it should be living far off the continental shelf unfortunately it's, it's close to shore and it is very skinny so that tells us already that something's been pretty wrong with it for a while um it'll take a while for us to actually figure out what's going on with it do we think that's why it ended up closer to shore likely um you know it's we aren't sure exactly why they come close to shore but usually we think it's when they're not feeling well and become disoriented and come close to shore yes so what's the plan to get this well um, right now we're waiting on tide and um, the conditions to become safe for us to work. So once once conditions improve, we'll start making more of a plan. I think you'd make the plan for when conditions improve. You'd be ready to go. Um, we're, we're estimating around 50 feet. Uh, we will work with multiple partners um, and any crafty team, an excavator. Uh, you know, we have currently we have, you know, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, Venice, Venice City, Venice Police Department, Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. They've already um, listed all that. University of Florida is on their way. Um, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I think I've gotten all of our partners. You forgot the so dolphin far. one. So really, right now, it's we're you know human safety is our is paramount, um, and we're so we're trying to just be poised so that as soon as conditions change, that we can get in there and get to work. What time did you guys receive the, the call about the whale? It was about 8:30 this morning. It was our first call. Can you talk a little bit about the? You already asked that question. Asked and answered. Um, you know, we, we are very much a network. Uh, we all, we work with all of our partners. Um, you know, as soon as our, I, our lab got the call first and immediately got on the phone with Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Please don't list Service, everybody. Um, Sarasota Dolphin Research Program, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, all of our, all of our local partners to get them here. Cause it really, it takes a village when we have something like this. So we'll get as many of our partners on scene as we can. 
Talk about those kind of species as well, sperm whale. They're a deep water. Yep, pattern. yes, they're a, they're a tooth whale. They live far offshore. Um, also, ask they, and answer. Uh, what are we doing here, guys? Dive to really deep depths, um, eat large, um, sorry. Uh, they, um, I'm done with this shit. Guys, we're going to keep you updated on this whale. The, the